Thank you. Can we please all stand up? You definitely don't want me singing the national anthem, so help me uh, do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Good afternoon and welcome to the Clinton Avenue Fire Station, home of Engine 10, Ladder 5, Rescue 1. My name is Raul Malavi. I'm the Assistant Public Safety Director here in Newark, and it's my honor to be the Master of Ceremony for today's event. Before I get started, I just want to acknowledge a few distinguished guests that are here with us this afternoon. Our police chief here for the city of Newark, Lee Douglas. We have Rabbi Frank, who's a member of the Public Safety Clergy. Thank you, Rabbi. <laughs> Firefighter Charles Mitchell, President of the Vulcan Pioneers. <laughs> Retired arson, uh, Newark Arson Detective, and currently the Orange Fire Director, soon to be the Trenton Fire Director, Kenny Douglas. <laughs> I think I got it all in. Uh, we have uh, John Brown. He's a uh, public safety deputy director for Irvington. Thank you, John Brown. Retired BC in North. Retired guys in North doing pretty well, I guess. And we have Dorian Harrell. He's the OEM coordinator for us here in the city. He's back there. Thank you, Dorian. It's a little warm today, but I guess that's appropriate for a fire division ceremony. Uh, today's a great day for the North Fire Division. Today we will have the official unveiling of a bronze plaque commemorating the first three African-American firefighters to join the ranks of the North Fire Division. Back in May this year, right around Memorial Day, we gathered at the same location and we celebrated the accomplishments of three incredible pioneering individuals. Three men that not only served this great country honorably in the military, but then they came home and against all odds decided to serve the city they lived in, the city of Newark, as firefighters. Firefighter William Thomas, Firefighter Shelton Harris Jr. and Firefighter David Lee Bolden, who's here with us today. Thank you, Mr. Bolden, for being here. <laughs> These three individuals are a great part of the story department's history. They helped pave the way for countless other firefighters, many of us who are standing up here today. I am pleased to announce that today, their sacrifice will forever be memorialized on the walls of this great fire station. Without further ado, it is my great honor to call forth the mayor of this great city, the Honorable Ross J. Baraka, for a few words. Good afternoon. This is our second time here. The first time we were able to make, uh, not Firefighter Bowman, but Chief Bowman now, <laughs> we were able to do that, uh, to be able to recognize the first three African-American firefighters in this city uh, was, is a monumental feat. We said it before, uh, when they came back, they were able to fight uh, for this country. Uh, but when they came back to Newark, uh, it was difficult for them to be able to fight fires for their city uh, because, it, you know, because of racism and discrimination uh, here in New Jersey and in the city of Newark. Uh, it is a great opportunity for us to, uh, years later, to recognize the work that they've done and to memorialize that with a plaque that will be here forever so that when young folks come by, they can see uh, all the contributions that were made, not just in the past, but in the present, and all of the work that's being done here in our fire service today. Now, as was mentioned, there are many people in this fire department who have gone on and done incredible things and are still doing incredible things uh, at the same time. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, to sit here and witness this, uh, and, and I'm glad that you're still with us today in the middle of all this craziness that's going on right now with this pandemic and everything, that you're still here and you're able to smell your flowers while you're still alive uh, with us today. Uh, it's a great thing, uh, and we should all be proud uh, as Newark residents, as Newark firefighters, the history of these three men who made it against all odds uh, to be able to be recognized here with us today. And all of the African-American firefighters, all firefighters of color, in this city owe uh, their careers to those three gentlemen. So uh, that being said, uh, let's give them another round of applause uh, for the work that they've done 
he's representing them today. Yep. And maybe we'll get to a point where we get to get up here and recognize all of the women firefighters as well uh, in our department. So God bless you all. Thank you for this. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It's my honor now to call forth our public safety director, Brian A. O'Hara, for a few words. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's a great honor to be here, to be here as the public safety director to dedicate Engine 10 uh, to our first. It's a great honor to be here as the public safety director when we dedicate Engine 10 to the first three African American firefighters Mr. David Lee Bolden, Mr. William Thomas, and Mr. Sheldon Harris, Jr. I got a chance to, uh, to meet with Mr. Bolden, uh, who actually uh, we celebrated his birthday, his 92nd birthday, June 25th. Uh, and it's just an incredible honor to have a chance to, to pay reverence to the sacrifices that he and these other firemen lived through. I just want to point out that in addition to the obvious struggles that they endured, the barriers they broke down here in the city of Newark, Mr. Bolden is someone who volunteered to join the United States Army and to serve our country during a time of war less than two years after the armed forces had been desegregated in the United States. And he's still here among us with those experiences, uh, serving our country, serving our city so humbly, so honorably, and we're just incredibly blessed to have the chance to thank you for that while you're still here to hear it from us. So thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to bring up in a minute, uh, the fire chief's going to come up and he'll tell you a little bit more about the other two uh, firefighters who we're honoring today as well. But Mr. Bolden joined the city of Newark's fire department uh, in 1985. He served for over 29 years. He began his career in the company that today is, uh, is today considered Engine 10, but it was originally uh, over on Irvin Turner Boulevard at the old firehouse there and the experiences that they had as firefighters when they first, first came on the job were relegated to largely doing salvage work. Because it was so difficult for them, they weren't fully accepted as firefighters. They weren't even allowed to go in and fight fires. So that tells you just a little bit of the experiences that they lived through uh, that then led the way for so many others to follow, follow in their footsteps and to make this city and our country better to help us finally live up to those values that we were founded upon. So we're incredibly grateful, Mr. Bolden, to you for your sacrifices, for your service. Uh, we thank you for everything that you did over the years to preserve life and property in the city of Newark. And we thank you for, for all for attending this important commemoration. Thanks. Thank you, Director. It's now my honor to call forth our fire chief here in the city of Newark, Rufus L. Jackson. Good afternoon to all. It's, it's an it's a honor for me to stand here as the fire chief of the of Newark Fire Division. You know, the fire department served this community as a paid service since June, of, June 1, 1889. These three members joined the fire service in the 1950s. Firefighter Thomas, Sheldon Harris, David Bolden, they were the first African Americans or people of color to join this department during trying times. Although t Firefighter Thomas and Firefighter Harris have long passed, it is an honor that we could give them their long overdue recognition. But we do have Firefighter Bolden here with us, as we all know. And, you know, I'm honored to be able to tell you that your contributions to the Newark Fire Division was not in vain. I would say Newark Fire Department, which he was a part of. It was not in vain. You appreciate it. Your name and their names will remain on the side of this building for many years to come. And each time someone sees that plaque, they will st your, to your story will be told, your careers, your memories, 
will be told over and over again. It's important to acknowledge our past so that we can have a better future. I want to thank you again, Firefighter Boulder, Firefighter Thomas, Firefighter Harris. You are trailblazers for so many. Thank you, and may God bless you. Thank you, Chief. So it's a moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to unveil this plaque. At this time, I'd like to ask Mr. Bolden to please come up. Fire Chief, please join him on that side. And I'd like to ask the Mayor and Director O'Hara to grab the string on this side, and hopefully this works and we don't have to climb a ladder and get it down. We'll have a little countdown, I guess, when we're ready. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. This time I'd like to thank uh, Captain Ray Montavo of the North Fire Department Pipes and Drums. Thank you so much for making all our ceremonies all the more special. And our Honor Guard, North Fire Department Honor Guard, thank you very much. Uh, this concludes our ceremony. Uh, please uh, welcome the media to come up and uh, speak to Mr. Bolden, take some pictures. And, uh, you know, let's celebrate this day. Thank you for coming out here. And... Uh, God bless this fire department, God bless the city of Newark, and God bless you, Mr. Bolden. I, chief, I should say Chief Bolden, you're right, I called you firefighter. Don't put me on charges, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Get home safely.